Um, Councillor, in about 60 seconds, because I only have five minutes, uh, could, could you tell me, in your opinion, what, if anything, is wrong with the criminal justice system in America? <laughs> Senator, oh. thank you for that very broad and very important question. You're welcome. Uh, I understand that there are numerous issues involving the criminal justice system that are the matter of vigorous debate in the public. Give, and me, two, give me two. Give me two things that you think are wrong with our criminal justice well, system. Senator, I, I truly respect the role of policymakers in considering questions like this. Uh, it involves so much study of, of empirical data. Yeah, counselor, I understand that. But give me two things. Maybe you don't think anything's wrong with it, but if you could give me two things you think, in your opinion, are wrong with our criminal justice system. Senator, in my, in my 12 and a half years of practice in post-conviction law, I have observed instances where individuals were denied uh, fundamental rights that, that were defined in the Bill of Rights. And uh, I, in many cases, have been able to assist those individuals in seeking vindication. Okay, let's move on, counsel. Um, do, do you think it's appropriate for a prosecutor to decide not to prosecute uh, certain classes or lines of criminal law violations in the name of social justice? Senator, I have not had the opportunity to review the legality of challenges to a, an executive's... I'm not, I'm not asking your opinion about the legality. Some of our DAs, you've read about them, I'm sure, um, in Philadelphia, Los Angeles, for example, other places, have said we, we are going to ignore criminal statutes passed by the legislature and not prosecute certain lines of cases in the interest of social justice. And I'm asking your opinion about that. Senator, I do not actually have a, an opinion about that per se. I, I do recognize that constituents. Uh, uh, Counselor, you've, you're an intelligent person. You spent your life in, in criminal, uh, involved in criminal law. You don't have an opinion? Have you thought about it? Senator, I. I'm not sure which specific instances of, of categories of crime that are not being prosecuted you're referring to. Sure. How about uh, shoplifting? How about receiving stolen property? How about resisting arrest? Uh, how about making criminal threats? Do you think those are all statutes, criminal violations? Do you think a prosecutor, it's a very simple question, Counselor. Um, do you think prosecutors should decide in the name of social justice not to, to ignore these criminal violations? Have you thought about it? Senator, I, I can't say I have. You're telling me you've not given any thought to this? Senator, I... I None I, whatsoever. Thank you. I, Counselor, I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I just don't believe you. You're a well-read, intelligent person. And I don't know why you won't give me your opinion on this. Senator, I have focused on specific criminal cases uh, as, as an advocate, as an appointed counsel. I know that, but I'm asking your opinion. I'm going to ask it one more time. Do you think prosecutors should ignore criminal violations as per statutes passed by a legislative body in the name of social justice as a matter of, of class of cases? All I can say, Senator, is I believe that prosecutors have a very important job. And I, do, should... I agree. They, their job is enormously important. I'm just asking you to answer my question. I can't vote for you if you're not going to answer my question. 
because I don't know what position you're going to take if you're on the court. Thank you, Senator. Would you, would you answer my question? I would hope that prosecutors would use all of all of their tools and resources to make important decisions about issues such as the one that you've raised. And if confirmed, I would review the legality of any challenge. Counselor, I'm very disappointed. I'm getting word salad here, and I don't even have dressing on it. We both know what I'm talking about, and I, I think your your refusal to answer your refusal to answer gives your refusal to answer gives me the answer. With all due respect, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power. <laughs>